Hola mis amigos and welcome back to Betsy V Lifestyle. Follow me on Instagram. You saw that a few weeks ago I posted up a picture and underneath the caption I basically said that I was a re I was ready or what did I say I was ready or I you know we all have issues and I was thinking about bringing my issues to light. We all have issues and um, a lot of you were like, yeah, you know, we all have problems. I would love to hear it, blah, 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 blah. Because I feel that uh, I have, I bottle everything in my emotions in. The only people that see it is, you know, my parents, my brother, Belinda, which is my sister-in-law, um, and Boy Toy, you know. Other from that, everyone thinks like I'm this, cheerful girl who has an attitude you know and i mean there's there's a lot a lot going on that you know that causes um my feelings that causes me to hate my life and hate everybody and 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 get so angry at the simplest things um so i was like maybe i should talk about it and hopefully help somebody out you know i mean i started doing youtube because i i loved sharing my life and i don't want you guys to see you know our daily vlogs on that's what tv <laughs> as oh you have the perfect life and you're so happy relationship goals mother goals we all have issues but we hide it really well i remember in high school, a math teacher what said, what do you say, it's not verbatim, but he basically said, Betsy, you're always so happy. And in my head, I was like, if only you knew how much I hated. Why am I crying? Okay. If only you knew how much I hated myself and I cried all the time. I don't know why I'm crying. Okay, stop. Um even you know other students and my friends would be like oh how are you so happy in the morning like i was just always giddy that's just always be been me as long as i wasn't home oh my god i was basically happy oh my god that's not to say that i didn't have good parents or friends and stuff like that I just my parents weren't and aren't perfect they were raised my father was raised very in Peru to be very strict men don't have emotions men work they don't take care of the kids they barely spend time with the kids and discipline 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 so growing up with that, and I'm, I don't think the reason I didn't want to make video like this was because I'm putting myself out there. Some people would be like, you know, thank you for helping me. I'm going through this too. Other people might be like, oh, you're 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 so selfish and greedy and narcissistic. And you're stupid. Like comments like that don't bother me. I've always said that. And people are like, how do you deal with the hateful comments? I'm like. If it doesn't come from somebody important, I it, I don't care. <laughs> like unless you say it to my face, and that's something different. But you know, being a, a keyboard gangster doesn't do much for to me. Um, but also just talking about it, it's kind of like throwing my parents under the bus, and I don't want to do that because regardless of them not emotionally being there for me, they always did everything for me. If that makes sense, like. I had great childhood memories. Um, some were great, some were terrible. But regardless, it was always what was best for their children, you know? Um, so, you know, when you're a kid and you grow up with a really strict father who's strict with everybody in the family, you know, you, you it's bound, you're bound to grow up and be like an insecure kid and all that stuff and you know dealing with issues with men and stuff like that so i ended up going to a therapist i've gone to therapy when i was in high school i think middle school too and then when i had ziana i started going to therapy and if you watch the earlier vlogs from like four years ago 
I don't think you could really tell, but, but I would just show up at the market and I was at therapy before that. I just didn't want to talk about it because everyone, everyone thinks like, oh, you go to therapist, you go to psychiatrist, you have mental issues, you're crazy. And I loved going to the therapist. I loved talking to somebody that mutual in everything so it wasn't taking sides she listened to it all and she was great I eventually stopped going but uh, I I absolutely loved it and what she come, came up with I think it was there for two two and a half years or so uh, she found out well by talking to me whatever she said that I was bipolar but not full-on bipolar I, I had a uh, what is it called mild form of bipolar so i always knew that since i was in high school i was like ma i think i have bipolar and i don't know about your oh your parents my parents are really old school so they're like ah do not do this stop, stop talking about that something about that everyone and I, I do agree that everyone if you if everyone was supposed to what were to go to a therapist or psychiatrist you would have an issue narcissism um anger and whatever freaking mental diseases there are there but we all have a mental illness so i kind of always took it lightly and i still kind of take it lightly i i know that i am erratic sometimes especially before i get my period and this happened after my birth with gunner i realized that as soon as I'm getting my period, like a few days or a week before I get my period, <gasps> I am a raging bitch. I found out that there's a term for it. It's called premenstrual dysphoric disorder, a severe, sometimes disabling extension of premenstrual syndrome. So symptoms may include anger, feeling overwhelmed, and change in appetite. Whoo, that overwhelmness, is that a word? <laughs> is insane. I feel so overwhelmed and nobody helps like there's nobody to help me um boy toy tries to comfort me and talk to me but i just like da -da -da -da, you know i start bitching and then he gets mad and then i get angry i'm like you should just not argue with me and get angry with me because when we fight i feel i hold my ground i'm stubborn as hell and he's stubborn as hell but when it's i can get over it in a few minutes like give me 10 minutes so i could curse you out and get angry at you but he stays angry he will stay angry and i'm over it and then when he doesn't want to talk to me or he walks out i feel so alone i just go insane and then just like i had a huge blowout about a month ago you it was it was so bad because he's like what i we got in a fight, he was angry at me, he wouldn't talk to me, and he took things out of context, and I'm trying to explain to him that that's not what I meant. He didn't want to hear it, he wouldn't look at me or anything, and I was like, I just snapped, like I was giving up on life, I was, and I just slammed doors, and I felt like I felt like I was in high school, like I just, I couldn't control it. You know, and I was like, I want to die, I want to die. Like, and he's like, why are you saying that? Because he's never heard me say that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like me, even. Oh my god. I found out that there's a term for it. It's called premenstrual dysphoric disorder a severe sometimes disabling extension of premenstrual syndrome so symptoms may include anger feeling overwhelmed and change in appetite Whoo, that overwhelmness is that a word <laughs> is insane i feel so overwhelmed and nobody helps like there's nobody to help me um boy toy tries to comfort me and talk to me but i just like you know I start bitching and then he gets mad and then I get angry I'm like you should just not argue with me and get angry with me because when we fight I feel I hold my ground I'm stubborn as hell and he's stubborn as hell 
but when it's I can get over it in a few minutes like give me 10 minutes so I could curse you out and get angry at you but he stays angry he will stay angry and I'm over it and then when he doesn't want to talk to me or he walks out I feel so alone I just go insane and then just like I had a huge blowout about a month ago you it was it was so bad because he's like what I we got in a fight he was angry at me he wouldn't talk to me and he took things out of context and I'm trying to explain to him that that's not what I meant he didn't want to hear it he wouldn't look at me or anything and I was like I just snapped like I was giving up on life I was and I just slammed doors and I felt like I felt like I was in high school like I just I couldn't control it you know and I was like I want to die I want to die like and he's like why are you saying that because he's never heard me say that oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god like me even oh my god <laughs> me even Admitting that is like crazy. I've never thought I would admit that to anybody. Doing this video, I didn't even want to do this video. I did and I did it and I was so scared. And I'm so scared like publishing this is gonna freaking uh, be insane. I found out that there's a term for it. It's called premenstrual dysphoric disorder. A severe, sometimes disabling extension of premenstrual syndrome. So symptoms may include anger, feeling overwhelmed, and change in appetite. That overwhelmness, is that a word? <laughs> is insane. I feel so overwhelmed and nobody helps. Like, there's nobody to help me. Um, Boy Toy tries to comfort me and talk to me, but I just like, da -da -da -da, you know, I start bitching and then he gets mad and then I get angry. I'm like, you should just not argue with me and get angry with me because when we fight, I feel. I hold my ground, I'm stubborn as hell, and he's stubborn as hell. But when it's, I could get over it in a few minutes. Like, give me 10 minutes so I could curse you out and get angry at you. But he stays angry, he will stay angry, and I'm over it. And then when he doesn't want to talk to me or he walks out, I feel so alone. I just go insane. And then just like, I had a huge blowout about a month ago you it was it was so bad because he's like what i we got in a fight he was angry at me he wouldn't talk to me and he took things out of context and i'm trying to explain to him that that's not what i meant he didn't want to hear it he wouldn't look at me or anything and i was like i just snapped like i was giving up on life i was and i just slammed doors and I felt like I felt like I was in high school. Like I just, I couldn't control it. You know, and I was like, I want to die. I want to die. Like, and he's like, Why are you saying that? Because he's never heard me say that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like me, even. me even admitting that is like crazy i've never thought i would admit that to anybody doing this video i didn't even want to do this video i did and i did it and i was so scared and i'm so scared like publishing this is gonna freaking uh, be insane and yes i have a home many people don't have a home i have food many people don't have food you know many people don't have what i have they can't have children they you know whatever it is so i'm very grateful but at the same time, I feel ungrateful for not just being happy with where I'm at. I, I, oh, I think everyone's goal in life is to make their parents proud. The only time they've ever been proud of me is probably when I graduated college. Like, when I had kids, it was like, ah, oh, okay, whatever, you know? Um, 
doing YouTube and blogging, I get some cool opportunities and I, you know, I get so excited and I want to share it with them and they're like, okay, oh, nice, you know? They just criticize everything. Are they paying you? Are you are you paying the bills? Are you need to save up? Why are you wasting so much money? Like, it's never encouraging word. My mom is a little better at it, but like I was so excited about the Pennsylvania tourism. I got to work with the tourism board of Pennsylvania, at Bex County, and they did it. Share my excitement. They said, "Oh, that's nice." All right. Well. I don't like when you do this to the kid. We don't agree when you do this and that with the children. You know, they shouldn't go to bed with their hair wet. I'm like, what the f I was so pissed. And so it's like, I have nobody to talk to. You know, you're supposed to be able to talk to your mom. And nothing, you, you can't talk to her without being criticized. And so, I falter as a mother in many ways. Like, I'm always yelling. It's like the Spanish to me. Instead of talking, we yell. Pick up your hair, pick up your clothes from the floor, And I go, hola, ropa, pick up the clothes, let's go, let's go. Like, you know, so that's how I was raised. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, But in many ways, I... I'm a good mom that I show my kids a lot of affection. Um, I try to encourage them. I do push a little bit too much. Like, I want things perfect. Um, like, I'm a, like a stage mom type. Um, but I try to encourage them in whatever they do. I would be proud of them no matter what. Like, anything. <laughs> Which I like. Because <laughs> I'm a little bit too proud of them for, like, dumb things. Like, oh, you opened a book. Yay! You're a genius, you're Einstein, you know, so I go crazy, but that just those are the things that I deal with and Just wanted to succeed You know when I became a stay-at-home mom, I never thought I'd be a blogger or a youtuber like I didn't know that stuff existed And then when I eventually got into it, I love it. I love doing this um, But it's it's it sucks because it's like I haven't succeeded in four years i've succeeded a little bit you know whatever but it hasn't been the success that i wanted uh that i eventually thought i would get you know being as big as like judy or something you know it's judy time and stuff and i know people are like that's ridiculous it's just that's how i feel other people may feel invaluable because they get it they didn't get into the nursing program or they didn't get the dog they wanted or you know whatever they can't have you know what i'm saying i know it's not a huge deal but it's what i deal with because i just want to make my parents proud i want them to be like i want to be like boom look what i got or i have this much success and i could provide for you now and just a lot and then the kids are just crazy it is not easy being a mom if i and I don't want to say I regret my kids. I don't. I love them so much. And I want to have more kids. And I'm going to have another kid, you know. But it's a lot of work. If I had known it was this much work, would I have, would I have, would I have had them? I don't know. But those people that are like, I don't want any kids. Not, I'm like, and I used to be like, are you crazy? Why don't you want a mini me? This and that. Now, I'm like, oof. I agree with you live your life be single with your spouse um you know are they missing out yes and no i mean i'm missing out from what they get to do and, and you know they'll probably miss out on having you know someone by their side all the time and grandchildren and stuff but it's things you have to weigh out i don't know i'm just rambling now <laughs> but i'm here to talk i know when i first started youtube there are people that wanted to talk to me and ask for advice and had similar feelings to I to, to me. I'm always there to help. I feel like we could help each other. Uh, yeah, don't try to find help. You know, a therapist. Call your insurance. Ask your parents that call the insurance. Or you call the insurance yourself and see if therapy is free or how much it is. And it, it helps a lot. I stopped going because I just... 
hated if I wasn't going out to say the gym or to do something I didn't want to take away from my day and go to therapy just to come back like it was an inconvenience kind of not really but it was and then the psychiatrist I was just like your appointment's at 10 o'clock you don't get seen seen till 11 15 so I was like my whole freaking Saturday is gone or my whole Thursday night whatever it was and I just I couldn't stand it so I'm like I just stopped going <sighs> I do want to go again but I just with two kids being when Ziana's in school and stuff we'll see but yeah you guys uh, let me know how you feel how tell me how much you're criticizing right now uh, I think that's it this would be more videos you know more on my parents and I don't know if I'm gonna talk about something else but because something else is very like private I have two things that are very private that if my parents find out well they know about one thing they'll probably freak out so I don't know um anything else you guys need any advice let me know in the comments below I will answer them probably in the comments maybe I'll do another video a Q&A video like advice from Betsy or something like that that'd be cool I love giving advice I love giving advice like my friends always come to me for advice because I'm like brutally honest so yeah make sure to give this video a thumbs up <laughs> subscribe and share and I'll catch you on the daily vlogs tomorrow adios